In other local news, 107 years of history lost as this former downtown funeral home was destroyed by fire that broke out Saturday afternoon. A local historian called it a city jewel. It's a tragedy because there are so few great uh, historic landmarks left in downtown Jacksonville after the great fire. News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris is joining us live from what's left of the building on West Union Street that has stood there since 1914, Janice. Mm, lots of history, Tom, and now the owner is working to get this building demolished. And when it's brought down, also they will lose 107 years of history. As fire overtook the historic Molten Cow Funeral Home building downtown, panic set in with onlookers. This is the first 911 call about the fire. Um, it's a building on fire real fast. The aftermath, a charred shell of a building that once looked like this, a prairie-style design rarely seen outside of the Midwest United States. Local historian Dr. Wayne Wood. I was heartbroken when I heard about the Molten and Cow Funeral Home burning down. This is one of Jacksonville's treasured downtown landmarks. A building designed by Leroy Sheftall and Earl Mark, who was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright, an American architect designer, and built by Henry Clutho. The Moulton and Kyle funeral home was a direct derivative of Jacksonville's oldest business, a funeral home founded in the 1850s by Calvin Oak. Now what's left of one of the oldest businesses in the River City will soon be demolished. It's still unclear how the fire began, but the building had been vacant since 2013. According to the city, there were 19 enforcement cases over the last 10 years. It was condemned for a partial roof collapse last year. The state fire marshal is investigating the cause of the fire as historians reflect on an abandoned building that has been a part of the city for 107 years. And tonight, I'm still waiting to hear back from the current owner of that building. Also, Dr. Wood explained to me that that building was just outside of the boundary of the National Historic District for the city. So it was never on the National Register, though it is a very old building, a lot of history being lost. But now the question is, when will it be torn down? That's pending as the owner is attempting to get it torn down, according to the city. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Janice Harris, Channel 4 the local station.